scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who is into telecommunications? The Lord is showing me a man here. You're into telecommunications. Will not waste time, please. Um, telecommunications. I'm seeing a woman. You are also into telecommunications. You are, wear, you are wearing a red dress and you're wearing glasses. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Please come. If there's someone like that, help me search quickly. I just want to prophesy over that person. We want to pray for the sick right now. Please make sure you understand what I'm saying. Telecommunications. You are into telecom. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing a grace that is coming on someone. A mighty prophet is arising from this meeting. Right now, the Lord is asking me to release a grace. There is a gentleman, there is a dealing of the spirit that you have been going through. Seasons of fastings and prayer. And I'm also seeing a few ladies too. I stretch my hands. I don't know where they are, but in the name of Jesus, I call the prophetic fountain that is within your spirit. Ephata, be open. Be open. I speak and I call prophetic fountains. Blow the wind of the prophetic. Be open. Ephata, let ministries step into new dimensions. The seeing eyes and the hearing ears by the spirit of God. Who is Juliet? Juliet. I'm hearing a name, Juliet. Please, who is that? We have to hurry up. Let's respect time. Who is Juliet? Please. Juliet, I want to pray for you. The, this is a telecoms lady. You're all telecoms people. Why? Huh? Telecommunications. You're in telecommunications. Let me pray for this young lady. Where do you walk? Africa's talking. Africa's talking. Where is that? What is that? It's, it's a company that, that... Come, hold my hands. December, January is your month of strange breakthrough. I don't know this lady, but I'm saying it in the open. I hold your hands and I shift you by prophecy into that dimension. December, January, the spirit of the Lord is saying he's connecting you with men around your industry and it will shift you to such a dimension that you will marvel and wonder in the name of Jesus. Is this how you celebrate what God is doing in Kenya? Hallelujah. Who is Juliet? 
Where are you from, my dear? Please don't just come out at random. Juliet. From where? This nation? Yes. You are from this nation. Where is your mother? Uh, she's at home. I want to pray. We need to rebuke sickness. Are, are we together? Your mother has started complaining of pains. Yes. Pains around her body. Do yes. I know you? Have I ever seen you? No. But I'm seeing that the devil wants to bring an attack of infirmity over your mother. But here at Ruach Conference 2019, the Bible says when the enemy comes like a flood in judgment, the spirit of the living God will raise a standard. I speak and I prophesy to you by the hand of God Almighty, let every plague of darkness be shifted now and for you step into a new anointing right now I release you into that grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ what do you do my friend you are into telecoms I will pray for you are you in this nation in this nation because I'm seeing you travel out I'm seeing you have something to do with UK. I want you to take note. God is taking you to UK. He will prosper you even by his spirit. I stretch my hands towards you and I decree and declare by the spirit of grace. Be shifted to that dimension in the name, the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick shortly, but I'm hearing the name Evelyn. Evelyn, who is Evelyn? I'm hearing a name Evelyn. I'm hearing a name Evelyn. What's her name? Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come out because you feel like coming out. We'll pray for everybody. We don't have time to prophesy to everybody. Grace of God. The name of someone's church there is grace of god something that has to do with grace of god who is that i don't know if you're a pastor i'm seeing a name like grace of god something something that has to do with grace of god who is that please please if you come out let me you are at the back you are wearing yellow something that looks like yellow this is there someone like that come where are you coming from hold on where are you coming from Behind you, yeah. What's the name? You are a pastor? Yeah. What's the name of your church? Tabernacle of Grace. Grace. Yes. Okay. That's your wife? My wife? Your life is about to change. I don't know you, but in the name of Jesus, I decree and prophesy. Step into a new dimension. Take that fire. Now, in the name of Jesus, I open up the wells of the Spirit. Madam, you are entering the level of favor. I'm seeing what came on Esther coming on you. And I speak to you by the Spirit of God step into a new dimension of grace i shift your ministry by the spirit do ministry with integrity and may god take you to heights unimagined in the name of jesus christ there is a pastor from uganda the lord is is there a pastor you are from uganda who is that person please you are a pastor you are wearing suit with something that a light tie pastor from uganda a suit who is that person is there someone like that you're from where uganda where are you from please don't, don't let's not make this place rowdy someone help me just control if i prayed for you you can just please politely go back to your seat so i pray for you you are a pastor in uganda you pastor your church you love jesus hold my hands i shift you to a new level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, you will never forget this conference. The weakness in your spirit, man, taken by the grace of God, be shifted to a new dimension. Where is the pastor that just left here now? You came for this conference? You came alone? Yes. You came alone? No. I'm seeing two people. Huh? Come with my PA. Oh, he don't he don't speak English. You came with your PA. Even your PA needs to be prayed for. Where is he? Come. Hey. Sorry, 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 where are you? Is he here? Sorry, John Bosco, where are you? That's all right. Let me just pray for you. We have to save time. Sir, I don't know you, I don't know what it is that you do, but the hand of God is coming upon your life, and the Lord is going to shift you. 
the teaching grace in a mighty way is coming upon you and I'm seeing grace for signs and wonders listen all of these prayers they are not a call for licentious and careless living we are tired of all this nonsense in the church we need some level of order and discipline and dexterity so please do not mistake this impartation as a license for carelessness we have abused the prophetic we have abused the apostolic but God is restoring order and restoring the patterns of God to the church just because you are anointed does not mean you should be careless Africa listen to me several people have risen in the prophetic in the apostolic and we celebrate and thank God for what they have done but if you do not manage the grace of God with character and godliness and discipline and self-control when we allow the flesh to override these giftings we end up messing up God's program and then it does not bless people so please do not think this is one of those men of God who has just come to add to the confusion we are a remnant that have come by the power of God to set things right to anoint and then to add with it the character of the spirit the love of the spirit I pray for you my friend look at me I lay my hands upon you serve him faithfully and may God shift you to levels untold man of God I pray for you by the spirit of the living God I just saw the angels of the Lord moving around this road that's why there are two people the power of God is coming on them right now just this row I just saw like the angelic please bring them out for me now I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit step into a new level of grace in the name of Jesus where are they where are you coming from huh I mean all of these people you are you are ushers you are ushers all of you are evenings my God the person who shouts among you under the anointing is the one I'm speaking no 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 this is by the spirit bring her this is the one I'm talking about but I will pray for all of you anyway I release you by the spirit of God from every captivity that is not of the Christ I pray and I declare by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end right now and for all of you two of you hold your hands together you and you two of you I stretched my hands I saw oil coming on two of you I release you into this grace now this man and this woman step drink of that grace by the mighty power of the Holy Ghost my dear go and tell your family that at Ruach conference God has brought you a visitation I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of God I don't know you from anywhere but you will never forget this conference for as long as you live because salvation comes to your family strange breakthrough is coming to your family Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick right now. Please listen. Everybody listen. In every conference, we must give the Holy Spirit an opportunity to take away burdens and yokes from people. I know that all kinds of ministrations have been going on here, but I believe that the Lord would want to set people free right now. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to pray for the sick. And then afterwards, we'll prepare our hearts for the final impartation. Please let your hearts be open. There may not be time to prophesy and speak to everyone, and we must redeem the time. We have to honor the time people have come. They have invested their time, their energy, and we have to make sure that we conserve and we do the best that we can do. South Africa, South Africa, South Africa. Now, I know many people may have come from there, but I'm seeing two people, two of you came. You came as friends. 
from South Africa. Where are they? Um, if they are here, let me just pray for them before I pray for the sick. South Africa, where are they? Celebrate Jesus. You came from South Africa? You are pastors? What do you do? You are a pastor. What do you do, my dear? I want to pray for you. Are you a pastor? I'm seeing a businesswoman. Huh? What do you do? Uh, I do road construction and recycling. I want to pray for you. Two people will meet with you before the end of this year. They will be part of a project that is ongoing in South Africa. The Lord will use it and lift you in a strange way. You see, listen. Prophecy does not only reveal. There are two dimensions to the prophetic. There is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic. And the goal of the revelatory dimension of the prophetic is to sponsor faith. To be able to reveal to you the details to the end that your faith be strengthened. Are we together now? But the most superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension of prophecy. Where you make things that have no business happening to happen. When the prophet said by this time tomorrow... He was not revealing something that would happen anyway. He made it happen. I want to pray for you, woman of God. I do not know you, but in the name of Jesus, your life will never be the same. There is a grace that is going to come upon you for burying women. This is what the Lord is revealing to me, number one. And then number two, I'm seeing the grace of an intercessor coming on you in a very strange dimension. You are a woman of prayer, but I'm seeing a higher level. You will see things at a national level in the place of prayer. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. I'm going to pray for you. Can I pray for you very quickly before we pray for the sick? Father, shift this woman to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus, I give your business wings in the spirit. Rise to a new dimension by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I program a climate of favor over you. And I declare you will step into possibilities you never dreamt possible. I grant you access to the hearts of kings. And I compel in the name of Jesus that they will come to you. They will bless you for the name of the Lord. And for the advancement of his kingdom. Let's pray for the sick. Now please listen. We're going to do it very fast here. Um, I know that many of you inside and at the overflow and those following online are trusting God for all kinds of miracles. I'm going to pray for you now. And all I want you to do is to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest as a sign of faith. We have to conserve time. So immediately I pray for you and I rebuke that devil. I'll give you an opportunity. Let's spare even if it's five, ten minutes. And we're going to have those that have been healed and touched and delivered very quickly. Is it alright if we use here? I'm going to ask you very quickly to come. Please let me have a few pastors. Okay, Pastor Pete is here. And they'll just check you. We'll take a few testimonies to announce to the realm of the spirit that Jesus is still Lord over Kenya. And when that happens, we'll do the final impartation and we're done. Is that alright? Now, please lay your hands, everybody. Let's pray. Believe in the power of the Holy Spirit to heal and to deliver. Now, listen. There are two people who are going to shout under the anointing to the hearing of everybody. I don't know why this happens. It's a sign and a wonder. But the moment that happens, the healing power will begin to flow. Now, please agree with me in the name of Jesus. A loud amen, Kenya. In the name of Jesus. 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 I command every devil of infirmity. Right now, be gone in the name of Jesus. I cause every spirit responsible. For any and all forms of infirmity, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Now I declare to you, Kenya, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Please help those under the anointing. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My God, miracles are happening. The Lord is healing someone. You have a problem with your neck. The power of God is touching you right now. 
I declare healing in the name of Jesus. The Lord is healing someone of pile, very painful condition of pile. Be healed in the name of Jesus. And seeing someone who cannot hear, is it that you cannot hear or you cannot hear well? On your right ear, I command that ear be open now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Multiple lumps around your left breast is going now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is healing a blood condition. I'm seeing a blood condition that the Lord is healing. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lower back pain. Just right here. I sense a very sharp pain. The power of God is touching that person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman. There's severe pain around your thigh. Here. The power of God is touching you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Someone has a very sharp pain around the shoulder here. That pain goes right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There is a swelling ar around your abdominal region here. I command that growth to disappear now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone. You've been sensing pain here. It looks like appendicitis. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. I'm seeing a gentleman with, um, I don't know if it's a growth around your throat, your thyroid area here. The power of God is touching you right now. Don't worry, just receive by faith. In the name of Jesus, I declare be healed now. I command every blind eye here. Partial blindness, complete deafness, blindness, be open now in Jesus' name. Every deaf ear, be open in the name of Jesus. If you are here and you are in a wheelchair or you are on crutches, throw that crutch and stand up now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, the Lord is showing me severe pain around the chest here. When you get up in the morning, you almost, you cannot lie down on this side to sleep because the pain is severe. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is someone, you lost your sense of smell. You cannot smell things. Right now as I'm praying, it's been restored right now. You will begin to smell perfumes. The power of God is touching you right now. The Lord is showing me a lady. You've been having a severe condition of your hair falling almost like a cancer patient i'm declaring be healed now in the name of jesus now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you one two three four i'm seeing four people don't come out um what the bible calls the issue of blood whether it's the period of your monthly circle or not you will have continual flow as i'm praying for you now after the prayer go and check yourself it stops forever in the name of Jesus, it stops forever by the power of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three, four, five. You've been without a child for five years. Who is that? One, two, three, four, five. I'm seeing like five years. Who is that person? I just want to speak to you without a child. Make sure you are married. Are we together? Come. Your time of salvation has come. Don't cry. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is. Husband, this is your wife. I'm prophesying to you in the open. In the presence of all Kenya. I will not put my reputation on the line for nothing. But I stand by the God of heaven. And I speak to both of you. I stand by the God of Jeshuron in the name of Jesus. I don't care what the medical condition is. I speak to you, madam, look at me. I'm seeing something like a chain around your womb being loosed. I lose you now. Now, now, by the spirit, help that woman. By the spirit of the living God, I prophesy to you, go and return with your children. 
return with fruitfulness this lady too i declare over you it's over now i'm seeing a spirit out out of her now you're, you're trusting god i won't ask you to come out again because um it, it, all of you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb so let's pray pastor get ready to dedicate so many children be free now now in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit I release you right now I'm declaring by the spirit of the living God my friend look at me this is your wife both of you madam lay your hands on your stomach I curse that devil now in the name of Jesus I release you from every whatever report the doctor said to the man man I change that report now in the name of Jesus and I declare by the spirit of the living God according to the time of life go and return with your children in the name of Jesus Christ my sister look at me don't cry shout Jesus as loud as you can it's over go and return with your child in the name of Jesus Christ where are you from huh What is Taita? Taita. What is that? Is where you are coming from? Yes. It's a place in a I'm hearing Taita. Is it Taita? Yes. That's what I'm hearing in the spirit. Yes. Where are you from? Taita. Taita. The Lord is, listen, I'm speaking to you. You see, when God reveals like this, it is to strengthen your faith. It is not to show that a man is anointed. No, we are only stewards of the mystery. It is Christ that deserves glory even whilst he glorifies his bride. Then we are not careful. Let me tell you, Kenya, listen to me. Africa, listen to me. There is nothing we have in ourselves to make any boast. What you see is the election of grace. And as we minister by the Spirit, we must be intentional about letting men see Christ lifted through our ministration. It is easy to want to draw the attention to yourself. But we are mentoring a generation. We are not only ministering. We are correcting wrong approaches to ministry. It is very easy to brag around and make it look like it is Apostle Joshua Selman. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I am a man. I'm a vessel empowered by the Spirit. The one who deserves the glory now and always is Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, let captivity come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus my sister look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can that's not a shout our daddy said to shout she's afraid Jesus she doesn't even know why she's shaking in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit it lets you go now and forever for all of you standing trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus the anointing of the Holy Ghost is on you my dear out of her now in the name of Jesus my dear look at me two of you I'm seeing an anointing coming upon you in the name of Jesus be free I curse every devil out now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I declare by the Spirit of the Living God and according to the time of life return with your children in the name of Jesus for all of you who have stood in for the fruit of the womb I decree and declare it doesn't matter whether I speak to you specifically you just believe oh this is your wife the man is drawing his wife and saying you can't you can't forget us what do you do sir um, I serve at uh, Papa Center I serve at Papa Center as oh. a protocol okay and I work uh, for a company doing uh, transport and logistics no I'm seeing you starting your own transport company there is a grace that is coming on you listen to me there is a grace that is coming upon you and I'm seeing you float your own transport don't ask where the money will come from that's that's no no mm -mm. if you will believe then you will see the glory of the Lord 
I know you are here for the issue of fruit of the womb. Don't worry about that one. God is prophesying something that will bless you. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. You will start your own company and the hand of God will rest upon you. He will prosper you even in this land. Madam, I stretch my hands and I declare that it is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you standing, I pray with you and I agree that it is over forever. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Let's pray. Let's finish up our prayer for the sick. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the Spirit of the living God, be healed right now. Shout Amen. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Whether I mention your case or not, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed right now. I'm telling you, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is setting people free. Now, this is what I want you to do. While we celebrate Jesus, we have just five minutes for this. There are people inside and outside. Check yourself now. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Come and stand here. A few pastors will confirm you and will take the case. Celebrate Jesus. God is doing mighty things here. Look at miracles happening. My God. Look at miracles happening. Kenya, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. There's a deaf ear. Look at this. A deaf ear has been opened. Look at this. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Check yourself. Look at a miracle has happened here. Another miracle has happened here. He baruta salabakatos. He baros he baratos. Check yourselves. In the name of Jesus, check yourselves. There's someone you could not walk with your left leg properly. Check yourself now. Life and power has come to your limbs. Please, very quickly, celebrate Jesus, Kenya. God is doing mighty things in this place. Hallelujah. Let me know when we are ready to just take a few. Just coordinate yourselves. And then let's, let's hear what God is doing here. Listen, please look up. Miracles are not just a proof that a man is anointed. I taught you yesterday we are witnesses. A miracle is a reply over Satan's assault. From God through man to creation that I am still God. Are we together now? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, go ahead. She has been asthmatic from when she was a child. She came into this meeting with a lot of pain on her chest. And right now the pain is no Completely. more. Completely. Breathe healed. in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Look at this. Come on, Kenya. Come, my dear. In the name of Jesus, never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. She had a lamb in her breast. A lamb. A lamb on her breast. Okay. Yes, when she came to this meeting. Give her the mic. My dear, what happened to you now? Pardon? What happened to you now? I... I couldn't. Uh, I used to feel pain here, but when you mentioned about uh, uh, someone who a has lump, a pain, yes, yes, yes. I, I had what happened to you now? I can't feel pain. No pain. It's feel, gone. Yes, yes. Jesus. It's gone. Jesus. The power of God is still touching people. The Lord is showing me a woman. You are an elderly woman. I don't know what challenge you have with your your lumbar area, something that has to do with your stability, pain around your side. Check yourself now. The power of God has touched you. It's gone and gone forever. Gone and gone forever. My dear, in the name of Jesus, be healed completely. Mom, we could not be able to lift this particular hand. She couldn't lift this hand. But right now, she can lift it. Ah, come on now, Kenya. Look at this. You can even see the hand. Put it down, mommy. Put it down. Lift it up. Put it down. Lift it up. Put it down. Ah, give Jesus praise. She's what crying. Hold on, hold on. Please come. My God. You can, you can see how twisted the hand. Pastor, you can see it. In the name of Jesus. Over now. Man of God, this lady has been deaf on the right ear. She's been deaf. And she has a report. But she says, let me see the report. Look at this. This is her report. For how long? How many? As long as I can remember. 
Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs>
the Lord spoke to Moses and said thou shall anoint Joshua and he anointed Joshua and he said thou shalt take some of your honor honor is transferable you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him and the Bible said this that Joshua was filled with the spirit of wisdom because Moses laid hands on him please listen to me an impartation does not mean you are weak spiritually an impartation is a privilege of the transference of dimensions levels of the anointing every possibility in the kingdom is not only sponsored by the anointing but sponsored by the level of the anointing please look up let me give an illustration uh, i think i have some money here look up please this is a hundred dollar bill everybody please look up now i don't know how much that translates to in your currency but this is ten thousand now look up please if you have a hundred dollar bill how many of you know that this can grab you a very good meal Amen. this can grab you many things but this may not buy a car for you yet it is money so if what you want is lunch this is sufficient but if what you want is something that is a house or a car you will need more of this it's not enough to be anointed the extent of the anointing determines the extent of the possibilities so Apostle Peter is speaking in the house of Cornelius to the Gentile church and he says it this way chapter 10 and verse 38 of Acts how God anointed not just that Jesus was anointed look at the extent to which God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil and the Bible says for God was with him it is not enough to be anointed you must be anointed to the degree to which every condition that comes is within the jurisdiction of your anointing to solve listen you are not a blessing until you are anointed it is true as a man of God you must sustain the level of grace that is higher than every challenge your members will come with that way you become a blessing if out of hundred conditions you solve two you have failed even if the two testify and make a big deal out of it so meetings like this are systems of upgrade for some of you what you need is a greater level of the same anointing for some of you what you need is another dimension just because you carry the healing anointing does not mean the anointing for favor is upon you please understand the same key does not open every room but it's called a key just because you have the key to the kitchen does not mean you have the key to the restroom if what you want is food you are safe but if you want to use the restroom you will need keys the anointing is that way now watch this please I want to do the final impartation I apologize let me have four people gentlemen never forget this illustration for the rest of your life any four gentlemen just scatter yourselves around watch this this is how Paul says it please stand here sir he said and God is able to make all grace everybody say all grace. all grace that means you can have some not all call this the grace for wealth and abundance call this the grace for favor and influence call this the grace for speed call this the spirit of wisdom for instance just because i have the grace for wealth and abundance does not mean i have favor the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men the heart of men is the proof that you are favored watch this i can be blessed financially i have a dimension of grace but when i need to make decisions because i lack this fortitude for wisdom it will show in my life so here's what the bible says God is able, all of you come to me, to make all grace, hold my hands, abound towards you, so that ye, having all sufficiency, the sufficiency is a product of this multifaceted dimension, 
so i when my challenge if i'm faced with a financial situation i project the grace that solves it if i'm faced with a situation of wisdom there is a grace some of you have some graces but there are dimensions your results show the deficiency of certain graces so paul says in romans chapter 1 and the 10th verse he says i long to come to you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established i came before but now i come again because your stability is my concern are we together so that when we receive this it will be a profitable conference you can go you know the grace on your life by the possibilities that it, that your destiny commands the testimonies that recycle around your life are a report card to the kind of grace that is upon you until what is upon your head changes what is around you will never change thou anointest my head with oil but the result shows in my cup he does not anoint my cup he anoints my head i use my cup to see what is on my head if what is on my head is overflowing the cup will be overflowing is someone ready to receive praise the lord bless you gentlemen thank you hallelujah now watch this i stand by the grace of god and i stand as one who has been privileged it's an honor to do this that I do for your nation and for Africa. It's an honor. Many of you here are great men and women of God, veterans of the gospel. I do not downplay your sacrifice with the Holy Spirit. I understand the dimension that has been committed to you and I honor it with all my heart. I only stand as one who has been graced by God to be a communicator of this spiritual mystery. It is not a show of superiority by any means. It is simply the privilege of God's grace granted unto us his apostles and prophets to be the dispensers of this spiritual reality. But then that your heart be open to receive and then it will change your life. I pray for you now. In the name of Jesus. The anointing for revelation. Listen accurate understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom according to Luke chapter 1 perfect understanding I release that grace take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now shout amen come on Kenya take that grace now take that grace in the name of Jesus take that grace in the name of Jesus Hear me, man of God, I release you to a new dimension of revelation. Insight into scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I pray for you. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but in the demonstration of power, so that your faith will not rest upon the wisdom of men, Sophia, but the power of God. I pray for you, the dimension of spiritual possibilities that makes for signs, wonders, kamakato shalai. I see that anointing coming on people. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Receive that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. hear me the bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows i want to prophesy to you and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the grace that distinguishes you i release that anointing upon you I release that anointing upon you in government in business I set a mark of separation and I command the distinguishing of your life and destiny in the name of Jesus hear me the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon please listen Kenya 
all blessings come from God through man to man. Nothing comes from God directly to man. From God through man to man. The distance between you and your next level is a helper of destiny. Hear me. No helper of destiny comes on their own. They are called by prophecy. Let me speak to Kenya. I prophesy to the north, to the south, to the east and the west of Kenya. Every helper of your destiny between now and the end of 2019 I call them into your life now. I call them into your ministry now. Please hear me. Let me speak over your finances. There are three levels of wealth. The first level of wealth is called transactional wealth. This is the wealth that comes by providing value, turning it into products and services and selling it with excellence to a targeted consumer base. That's what you call business. It is called transactional wealth, where a reward is authorized for selling your value. The second dimension of wealth is called transformational wealth. Wealth that comes by reason of the lives you have changed. You provide value, but you don't sell it. You dispense it. And the law of rewards makes that every time you dispense value, whether it is sold or given for free, a reward must be authorized to come to you. For instance, the reward a man of God receives for changing a man's life. But the third dimension of wealth is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by prophecy. Wealth that comes by the finger of God. And by a prophet... The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved. He said, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established and believe in his prophets. If you stand tonight to believe this word that I utter, I tell you your finances will change like day and night. I stand by the God of heaven, the helper of men and the giver of all good things. Between now and the next 90 days, can you hear me? I speak by the spirit of God like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom, I provoke abundance to you. I provoke abundance to you. I provoke abundance I provoke abundance to you. Hallelujah. We are wrapping up. Let me pray for your spiritual life. If our hope is only in this life, we are of all men most miserable. Please listen to me. God is looking for people who will be serious with him. Not just people who will use him. There is a hunger and a passion and a fire that must never die in your life. Let me pray for your prayer life. I don't know what took it down. That the hunger, the passion, the zest. In the name of Jesus, fire from heaven, fall on your prayer life. Fire from heaven, fall on your prayer life. The grace to fast, the grace to pray. Take that grace, Kenya. Take that grace, Kenya. Listen to me. I pray for you for the grace for character. That you can stand before a million dollars. And if it violates your conviction, you can walk away and not feel bad. I decree. There is a grace that teaches men to say no. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. CEOs with character. Men of God with character. Business people with character. Career people with character. Every business represented here, I provide wings in the spirit. Rise to a new dimension. Every church, every assembly, every mission agency represented here, we are using pastor's church to speak over the church in Kenya. Regardless of limitation, I speak to the church in Kenya. 
by the privilege of the election of grace rise to a new dimension rise to a new level signs and wonders salvation fire apostolic kingdom driven teachings mentorship of believers in the name of jesus christ let's pray for the government of kenya it says to pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we bless god her excellency is here standing to represent the government and the former vice president is here we honor you sir we use both of you as the witnesses to pray over kenya that in the name of jesus kenya hear the word of the lord rise to a new level economically rise to a new level we place the anointing upon your parliament we place the anointing upon your social economy we place the anointing upon education we place the anointing upon media we place the anointing upon family we place the anointing upon the religious circles hear me i declare by the spirit let the name of the lord be exalted over kenya the length the breadth of kenya is submerged under the influence of the spirit of grace finally i pray for every member every partner every financier and everyone who is part of this ministry and part of this vision the bible says a laborer is deserving of his wages i stand by god joining my faith with your pastor alongside all the men and women of god that have been used upon this platform we stand under this corporate grace and we pray for everyone who is part of this church and this vision rise from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory in the name of jesus we declare that the least among you will be as great as david by the power of the holy ghost let the sound of mourning and the sound of weeping not be heard within your vicinity again in the name of jesus christ pastor thank you so much for the invitation i thank you and your dear wife in the presence of her excellency his excellency the fathers of faith in this land and the church within kenya Thank you, Kenya, for receiving me and receiving us all. I love you with all my heart. May you go from glory to glory. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you